All right, we had another great night here on the Mardi Gras with Carnival, and boy, oh boy, did they have the activities. They've got the shows, and they've got the chow. Tonight, we did the chef's dinner. You're going to love this. If you get the opportunity, sign up for it earlier. It was magnificent. Lots of courses, great dessert, great wine, great everything. It was fantastic. We highly recommend it. The shows just continue on. Whether or not you're in the main theater, the comedy shows, they even have, as you guys know with Carnival, the outdoor theater to watch your favorite movie. And I tell you what, we've been so impressed with the Mardi Gras. We hope you love this video. We're going to show you some more now. Sit back and enjoy this great ship. <laughs> got a great video for you today on how to have fun outdoors that's right are you ready we're gonna check out the mardi gras please hit that subscribe button it would mean so much to us and also check out our facebook page and instagram page you're gonna love all the pictures videos and great information check out our website how to have fun outdoors.com but today is all about carnival cruise line and some mardi gras the brand new mega ship for carnival that's like no other that carnival has ever launched this is one beautiful ship and we were fortunate enough to get out there in 2022 to take it for a great caribbean cruise and boy oh boy did we love it if you haven't seen our walkthrough video this video is doing tremendous and uh, you're definitely going to want to check that out if you haven't jumped on the cruise yet but you're also going to want to check out some of our other cruise ship videos. But most importantly, this one. That's right, 25 tips for the Carnival Mardi Gras. Some stuff Carnival might even not want me telling you. But we're going to tell you, like this first one. That's right, filet mignon. So when you go to that pig and anchor uh, restaurant at the back of the boat, this is a super cool place. Awesome menu, free of charge. And what? On the very first day, Saturday, that's right, you can get the filet mignon for free. That's right, only the first day. So you're going to want to get there early at Pig and & Anchor, and you're going to want to check it out. If you miss it, no worries. Lots of great food at this restaurant. Really, really good stuff. You're going to really enjoy it. It's, uh, I, you know, we were so impressed. Uh, but lunch, dinner, you name it, they've got it and it is a great barbecue. How about beer sampler? There is a cost to this one, but that's right, there's their own microbrewery on this ship. And boy, oh boy, did Aliche love that. Wow. So, this working like this. This is Umber, this is L, this is AP, and this is Okay. And this one is like a mystery. A mystery. Okay. So it's extra. And you got to know that even though we're not big beer drinkers, it was a lot of fun to try all the different beers, the ales, the IPAs, the ambers, you name it, the porters. We did it all and had a lot of fun. So if you love beer, you're definitely going to want to do that. Even if you don't love beer, it's fun to try out all the different beers that they brew on the ship. Just be careful not to drink too much. This gold guy kept hitting on my wife and keep an eye out for him while you're on the ship. All right, tip number three, animal towels. That's right, depending on the service you have, most of the time they're gonna give you an animal towel every other day. But all you have to do is ask your stewardess to uh, give you one every day. And the guess what? You're going to get one every day. We are at the end of the cruise and I had to say goodbye to my friends, towel animals. I really love them. Look at how cute they are. Goodbye. 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 Goodbye to all of you. So when you get that towel animal every day, it's a lot of fun. But how about the sail away party? Everybody forgets about this, uh, except for the people that have cruised before because they know how awesome it is. So definitely on the day of departure, you're going to want to get up on that Lido deck and have some fun dancing with everybody. They do a great job with the sail away party. You don't want to miss it. We even had a guest that was 100 years old that was out there. There she is. And we had fun right out front of the Red Frog two-story on the Mardi Gras. So you definitely want to check that out. All right, another great tip. That's right. 
on the first formal night, go to the Italian restaurant. That's right. Why? Because they have lobster for free. That's right. Another tip Carnival probably doesn't want me to tell you. But guess what? That's right. Free lobster on the first formal night. No other night at the Italian restaurant. Speaking of seafood, how about tip number six? That's right. The Seafood Shack. If you love seafood and you want the best lunch, I'm going to say it's the best lunch on the ship. You're going to want to check out the Seafood Shack. There is a cost to it, but look at the oysters. You can get crab legs, shrimp, you name it. It is awesome. And what about tip number seven? That's right. Don't miss the Mardi Gras parade. Every single cruise, they pick a bunch of the different guests from the cruise ship. They get picked all along to participate in this final parade. You're going to definitely want to be a part of it, and it's a lot of fun. So don't miss the Mardi Gras parade. And how about the Mardi Gras? I don't know what it is, but it seemed like almost every door is decorated. So don't be that party that has the blank door. Make sure you bring all your fun stuff to decorate your door on the Mardi Gras. I guess this goes back for years and years, back to the 70s. So it's definitely a ship that loves to have your door decorated. Tip number nine, if you're driving to the terminal, this is really important to know. You can now, for the first time, park at the Port Canaveral Terminal 3, the brand new terminal, using ePass. That is great great news. You don't need cash. You can use credit cards, but ePass and SunPass will actually work. You don't even have to exchange anything and it'll work. EasyPass is not set up yet, but it may be in the future. And what about movie night? And there it is on Lido Deck. So just take the time to relax, enjoy yourself, get up there, watch a movie one night, take it easy, and just chill out with your comfy pajamas. And you can watch it from first floor, second floor, and they've always got a mainstream Hollywood feature film playing every night on Carnival. All right, secret number 11, tip number 11. That's right, down on deck four, here's another big tip. That's right. You got to iron those clothes. You got to get ready for formal night. They've got an ironing room down there hidden away. Nobody knows about it, but we found it. And take a look at this. Everything you need to iron your clothes down on deck number four. Okay, let's start with tip number 12. And ladies, this is where you want to get your men to watch this video. So what I highly recommend is always trying to buy a present for your partner on a cruise. Why? Because that little gift will always bring back memories for years and years from the trip. All right, Alicia, I don't know if I should come in here anymore. I'm gonna end up spending all this money. Oh. What's the name of this store? Desires. Desires, all right, very the good. Name, the name tells it all. <laughs> Tip number 13 is do your research on shore excursions. Definitely ask around. Um, we do a lot of videos on shore excursions. Definitely check those out. Uh, but you want to try to go on the best possible ones and you want to try to do your research before you even get on the ship. That way you can get on the best excursions, get your tickets and be all set to go because there's really nothing like a great shore excursion and there's really nothing like a bad shore excursion. So uh, do your research and you'll have a ball. Definitely check out the Stingray and Snorkel trip that we just did. That was fantastic on the Carnival Mardi Gras and we've got lots of videos there you can check out tip number 14 that's right go ahead and spend some time in the spa treat yourself at the cloud nine spa so much to do there they've got the thermal suite with all the hot beds you can get a massage which is fantastic and you can relax back in here with all of these cool areas of the uh, actual spa on the Mardi Gras like no other. They've got some pretty cool things in this thermal suite with the showers and the jacuzzis and uh, all kinds of cool stuff. Obviously you have the weights and uh, the exercise equipment. You can get your hair cut, your nails done, your toes done. You've got saunas, you've got a little bit of steam room, you've got all kinds of stuff you can buy to make you look beautiful. And also if you want, you can even get a spa room. We actually did a video on that and with your own private elevator. That's right. You're going to want to check that out. Tip number 15. That's right. The comedy clubs. 
Get in line early. The comedy club is actually smaller on this ship than it is on some of the smaller ships. So they do have a lot more shows. They do have a lot more comedians, but they fill up fast. So you're going to want to get there early. Here's our buddy A-Train, who uh, is a comedian on many of the ships. Uh, but overall, you want to get there early. How about this next tip? That's right. You know it. it. There's a roller coaster on this ship. The first one ever in the history of cruise liners. And it's called the Bolt. You're going to want to ride it. It's $15. Yes, there is a cost. But guess what? It's a lot of fun. Okay, the next tip is really important for people that are new to cruising or this is your very first cruise and that is the drink package and it quite often is overlooked by many. So you don't necessarily need a drink package, however, if you have children and they love soda, you're definitely going to want to do the Bottomless Bob Bubbles program and that's $5.95 per child. If you're a big soda drinker, you definitely want to do it also at $8.50 per adult. Um, if you're a drinker and you like to have your wine, beer, uh, mixed drinks, uh, especially your pina colada while you're down in the Caribbean out on the Lido deck, then um, definitely I would go with the Cheers program. And if you're not a big drinker, I don't think you need either one of these. We skip on both on all of our cruises. Um, obviously, we do um, have wine every now and then with dinner. But here's a breakdown of the package. And again, if you've been a cruiser for a while, this isn't really much of a tip. But for new people, this is often overlooked and it can be a big expense and it can take away from your cruise if you don't have the right package. So if you're a soda drinker, you're definitely going to want that soda package. That's the most economical way to cruise. So you can see here with the bottomless bubbles, you get all the soft drink and juice you want during the cruise. On the cheers package, obviously you pick up the spirits, cocktails, beers, wine, everything we talked about. And the... Um, frozen cocktails, energy drinks, you name it, they've got it. And that is a really good program overall for everyone if you are a drinker. If you elect not to do the drink packages, what Aliche and I always do is buy a whole 12 pack of water for the room. And most cruise ships allow this and you uh, can either order it ahead or order it while you're on the boat. But uh, it's nice having all the water in the room and then you can fill up your ice bucket on Carnival Cruise Line and uh, you've got ice water or water whenever you need it. And uh, if the hubby or you like cookies, they always have cookies too that uh, you can have sent to the room, which is a big plus. Okay, so that's how you buy drinks, but what about how you win a free drink, right? Everybody wants to know that. Our suggestion, the Tiki Fest. That's right. See these drinks? We got them for free. How did we get them for free? We got out there and participated in the competition, and you can too. Carnival has all kinds of events, and in the past they've given out trophies and medals. But now they're giving out more and more drinks for the different activities if you compete in them with other couples and other people. So here's a great one to go up and have a fantastic time at the Tiki Fest. It is one of the best events up on the Lido deck. You can see Aliche going crazy here. She's out there dancing away in front of the crowd. And boy, oh boy, did we have fun with all the great Polynesian luau atmosphere. It was a great time. And definitely, you're going to want to check that out. Don't miss that as one of the key activities for sure. But of course we had competition and there we came down to the three final couples. We made it and all of us got to get free drinks. So you don't have to be first place. You can be second place or third place and you'll still get your nice mixed pina coladas. You name it. And at the end of the show, that's right. You're going to get to have some fun watching these guys do the old Tom Cruise flipping around all of the drinks and having a good time. So here you go from the Tiki Fest. Okay, the next tip is all around the internet plans and everybody today is on their cell phones and everybody needs some type of internet plan. 
So when it comes to these plans, you definitely want to book in advance before you actually get on the ship. They have three plans, the social plan, um, the value plan, and the premium plan. We always go with the premium plan for the extra money. Um, it's really not that big a difference. Uh, and you get three times the speed, up to three times the speed that you do with the value plan. In addition, it supports Skype, Zoom, team meetings, calling. So if you're working from home or the cruise ship, you can do a Skype call or a Teams meeting uh, with the premium plan. You won't be able to do it with the other plans. So to break it down a little bit for you, on the social plan, you'll see that this is the basic plan. And if you have small children, this probably makes sense at 680. This keeps them tied to just Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, LinkedIn, Facebook Messenger, WhatsApp, Snapchat, and the typical things that children would have access to. Clearly, they won't have access to other websites and apps, and I think that's probably fine. So instead of calling it the social Wi-Fi, they should just call it the children's Wi-Fi plan. And uh, again, you save up to 15% when you book ahead versus waiting till you get on the ship. The value plan, like we discussed, uh, goes to all your favorite sites, including email, news, sports, weather, banking, finance. It does not um, support the Skype, music, video streaming, all the things we talked about like Spotify, Netflix. Um, again, you can save up to 15% if you book ahead. And our favorite, the premium package, and like I had mentioned, this supports Skype, Zoom, team meetings, uh, call. Um, it hits all the website up to three times faster. It says it right here, actually. And uh, if you book ahead, it's uh, you save up to 20% versus um, when you're on the cruise ship. So definitely worth it, uh, but definitely consider your internet package in addition to your drink packages and some of those other things before you get on the cruise ship. And how about room service? Don't forget about that. Wow, room service, and it was only about 15 minutes these guys delivered. No tip, uh, we asked them, they said no tip, and free of charge. So Carnival doing an awesome job with uh, service, huh? Yes, and my belly's ready. So tip number 21 is to highlight our two favorite shows. This ship is incredible, super high tech, and tons of shows to pick from. And believe it or not, this is an incredible ship where not only you have the main theater, but you also have what's called the Grand Central Atrium, which transforms into a multi-story venue with spectacular shows, talented performances, crazy acrobatic stuff, special effects, you name it. They've got 16 massive LED screens with videos, lasers, smoke, you name it, all kinds of craziness. And this just makes this ship so unique compared to every other ship out there. And we enjoyed all the shows. Uh, there's many to see, and you can't forget your bingo night. That's always a lot of fun. They have that also in the mid-atrium uh, area. And then one of the great shows was The Light of Enchantment. That is a fantastic uh, show. They even have uh, the comedy show going to the main theater, so I'd highly recommend that because there's no problem getting a seat. But let's start with our two favorite, M, the incredible magic show. That was just remarkable, and yes, we got to get involved with it, and it was a lot of fun. Uh, we were on the camera there for like 15 minutes, but we're not going to show you the show, obviously, uh, but you definitely want to check it out. It was spectacular magic show. We loved it. The other key show that you want to make sure you see is the Voodoo Moon. It is one of the most amazing shows, tons of acrobatics. Aliche just fell in love with it. But overall, these two shows you do not want to miss. There's plenty of shows, and sometimes you miss some of the best shows. These two are our tip for your two best shows on the Mardi Gras. So brand new with the Mardi Gras is what's called Street Eats. It's, it's new and it debuts with the Mardi Gras ship and it is awesome. It is up on the Lido deck and uh, believe it or not, the food was outstanding. We really enjoyed it. In fact, we had two lunches there because everything is fresh at Street Eats 
and uh, made to order. So they have the Steam Dream, so you can do all your buns and pot stickers. You had Mad Sizzle that had kebabs and satay, time fries, uh, you know, where you can load up the fries with all kinds of different stuff. And they changed it up every single day. So like at Mad Sizzle, the pot thai noodle dish was phenomenal. It was really, really great food, and we were impressed. So was everyone else on the ship. So don't, uh, don't miss that. It's kind of off in the corner all by itself. And uh, it looks like just little takeouts like a Street Eats would normally be, but it was excellent. Okay, tip number 23, the chef's table. That's right, there's plenty of great places to eat. We all know about Guy's Burger, fantastic. This one is like three times the size of the Guy's Burgers on the other cruise ships, and boy oh boy, is it still fantastic. It's great every time you eat there. But what about Big Chicken? That thing's amazing. That was the one of the most popular places on the ship, relatively pretty new to everyone. And uh, if you love shack and you love chicken, this is the place to go. But you got Shebang, really great place to go. Lots of uh, great food there. And uh, Tapanyaki, another great sushi place. Uh, sea Grill, of course, all your fancy seafood. And then from there, Fahrenheit Steakhouse. Uh, this is the classic high-end premium steakhouse. Obviously, these are all uh, for extra charge and they are fantastic but overall and we already talked about the pig and anchor that is one great barbecue place and the palm restaurant is your typical dining area where you can eat whatever night you want we only got in there one or two nights because you had so many other places but the carnival kitchen is where they actually held the chef's table and our recommendation to everyone is spend the money Get, get get your um, dressed up and get your pictures and head on down for the chef's table. This is a fantastic event and it is well worth the money. The uh, food was spectacular. Uh, everything about the evening was just remarkable. We all had a great time. Some very unique food, unbelievable tastes, many courses. And we had a lot of fun. They had a magician there. Uh, we got treated like gold. Um, the, uh, a lot of surprises with the meal um, that we really enjoyed. Take a look at that. I mean, they had just one dish after another dish. And our recommendation would be to register for this as soon as you can um, online before you get on the cruise because they do fill up quick and you won't be able to get in there. But uh, overall, just a fantastic evening and a real special memory. We're actually going to try to do a small video on this for everyone. Um, and uh, you get your picture. It's a great evening overall. But like I said, we're gonna try to do a small video on this coming up in the next couple of weeks that I think you'll enjoy. Okay, the next tip, as you all know, getting ready for the cruise and packing your stuff and getting prepared is a big deal. So our tip is get prepared so that you take all the anxiety and all the stress away. Uh, the old Boy Scout motto, be prepared. So definitely have your passports, your IDs, your vaccine cards, all your test results everything even take photocopies uh, so you have second backup copies um, we actually did a, a video that's already out boarding a cruise during covid you definitely want to check that out okay tip number 25 have fun that's right that's what our channel is about that's what carnival cruise lines about and we're going to give you a bonus tip for another 250 dollars of onboard credit and uh, you're gonna see that in a minute, but let's talk about having fun, right? So you work hard, uh, you've got all your daily stress, all of the craziness going on in the world, so what about just getting out there and having some fun on Carnival Cruise? So when you go, relax, have fun, don't think about anything else. Our tip to you is go and have a great time and don't think about anything else. Soak up the sun, get a tan, and enjoy yourself. Okay, so all you have to do is actually own a minimum of 100 shares of Carnival Corporation or Carnival PLC shares. So it's a publicly traded company 
And just like any other investment you would have in Apple or any other company, if you buy 100 shares of Carnival, you, became, you become an owner of Carnival. But what's really awesome is the shareholder benefit that most people have no idea about. So here's another great tip from how to have fun outdoors. If you take a cruise that's six days or less, you actually get after you fill out the form, show that you have the 100 shares, you're gonna get $50 on uh, a credit for uh, your sailing. If you do a cruise for seven to 13 days, a $100 credit. And then if 14 and longer, you get a $250 cruise credit for on board. So that is awesome. And most people don't know about it. It's not really advertised much, um, if at all. Um, but I was able to find this and get this out to all of you guys for a great tip. This benefit is applicable on sailings through July 31st, 2023. There are some restrictions, so you definitely want to look into that. And they definitely need to have it at least three weeks prior to cruise departure date. So in any case, it does cover all these brands, as you see here, Carnival Cruise Line, Princess, Holland, Seaborn, uh, all of them. So they're all on here, and they're all part of this program. So definitely take advantage of that program. Well, we hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, we hope you, you learned some great tips uh, from this video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, definitely hit the like button. It would mean a lot to us to get this video out. And please subscribe to the channel. We got all kinds of new videos coming out, five new videos. The Chef's Table, we've got a Stingray and Snorkel video coming out from Grand Turk. We've got the Ocean World's Dolphin Encounter at Amber Cove. We got St. Martin versus St. Martin, the Dutch versus French side. That video's coming out. St. Kitts Kayak and Snorkel, that video's coming out. This video's already out. It's been a big hit, full walkthrough. We also have this video out on the Spall Balcony Room Tour boarding a cruise during COVID, definitely check that one out. We even have other walkthrough videos like Carnival Freedom and some Royal Caribbean cruise ships. Also DR, what about the waterfalls? Aruba's VIP schooner, that's an awesome time. Dune buggy and cave adventure, you're gonna wanna check that out. So thank you so much for watching How to Have Fun Outdoors. <music>